Well, folks are beginning to arrive and join us as we plant the cross of Elsa Santillan Garcia this morning. She was a 37-year-old woman who very quickly after she jumped over the wall in nearby Naco, Arizona, she became ill and her husband went to get the Border Patrol um, and very quickly she was unconscious and died. We began almost a year ago to gather people who would like to remember and plant a cross at a place where a migrant's body was found in the desert. Sister Judy often goes with the Tucson Samaritans and there she met Alvaro and Cecil who, an artist, began making crosses to put at the GPS coordinate site of where the bodies were found in the Tucson area. And so we've begun to do this also here in our county. The morgues of southern Arizona have had to deal with more than 3,000 known deaths. With the harshness of the desert, we realize that there are definitely more people whose bodies are never discovered. Along the entire border, 6,000 people have lost their lives in the last 15, 16 years. And yet there seems to be no concern. Our honoring these people whose dreams were cut short, we hope that somehow their hope might live on in terms of better laws and that their lives matter as we are beginning to say these days, their life was important. And it is a tragedy that so many people have died trying to accomplish their dreams and to be reunited with their families. Some of us um, might not uh, know who Elsa is, Elsa Santillan Garcia. Uh, those of us that uh, we're here a little over two years ago when she died. Uh, I think I could speak for those of us who were here that we consider Elsa our friend. Um, we never met Elsa. Of course, she died uh, about 200 yards from when she and her husband crossed the border wall where we're going to be today. We know Elsa through her husband, Silvestre. And during our prayer, we're going to tell you the story of Elsa and Silvestre and um, and Laura, our good friend, who was the U.S. coordinator. And um, so we'll share that after. But just so that you know, this is a special day uh, for those of us that are involved with the, uh, the Migrant Center. We are here to remember and to mourn and to honor a sister. A sister we never knew, never met. The sister who died here, near here. We are her family. We ask for your blessings and your guidance as we begin this short but important journey.